In this problem, a medieval engineer is firing a catapult projectile at a castle with 45 meter walls. If the castle is 880 meters away and he fires a projectile at 100 meters per second at an angle of 37 degrees, does the projectile clear the wall of the castle? So let's think for a second what this problem is really asking us. It seems like it's asking us, does the projectile get above the height of the castle wall? But if we look at the three paths I've sketched out here, the green path actually goes above the castle wall, but this path does not make it inside the castle. The high point of the path is above the castle wall, but the range of the path does not reach the castle. So that's actually a, a path that doesn't make it over the castle wall, where the answer to this would be no, even though it's higher than the castle wall. The orange path actually makes it past the castle wall. It travels farther than the castle wall, but it never reaches, never goes high enough to get over the castle wall. It would have hit against the castle wall here. So that path also doesn't work, even though it does go farther than the castle wall. The purple path seems to work well, where it does actually go above the castle wall and into the castle. So if we look at this problem one more time, what it's really asking us is it's saying, once the ball gets to the castle wall, is it above the castle wall? Or in kind of variable terms, this is asking us when X equals 880 meters, since that is how far away the castle wall is from where the catapult is, is Y greater than 45 meters? So when the position of the catapult ball is 880 meters in the X direction, is the position in the Y direction above 45? Because if it's above 45, the ball will be up here somewhere and it would make it into the castle. If it's below 45, the ball will be down here somewhere and it would actually hit the castle wall. So it's a little bit tricky about what this problem is asking us for, but once we figure that out, you'll see in a second, the problem isn't too difficult. It was just tricky seeing what this thing is asking us for. And again, just to reiterate, the problem is really saying when X equals 880 meters, what is Y? So kind of give us a hint that we're probably gonna use the X equation first, and we can use the fact that we know, we know the X position of the wall use that with our X equation, figure out what point in time this ball reaches the wall, plug that point in time into our Y equation, and figure out what's the Y position of the ball, and then compare it to where the castle wall is. So the trick in here is we're not using this 45. A lot of times students want to say, hey, that 45, that's what Y is, it's a height. But here, no, that's not an actual number we're gonna use in the problem. We're gonna solve for a number in the problem and then compare it to that number at the end. So just be a little bit careful, don't get tricked. So this is a projectile problem. We're going to use our projectile model. We can use our projectile equations. I'm going to use 10 meters per second squared here, in this case, just to make our lives a little bit easier. So let's see. Um, we need to also set a beginning position. I'm going to call where the catapult is my beginning position. So that's where y naught is 0 and x naught will be 0. And I'm also going to make sure I remember to call something positive. So I'm going to call up positive and to the right positive. Now, since our catapult is shot at an angle, we have to first find our initial velocities. So if remember from before, the X initial velocity is going to be the resultant initial velocity, which in this case is 100 meters per second times the cosine of our angle, which gives us 80 meters per second for our X initial velocity. And the y initial velocity is going to be 100 meters per second times the sine of our angle, which is going to give us 60 meters per second. Now let's start with the x equation. I'll use that one first. So I know x is going to be 880 meters, so I can say 880 meters is equal to my initial x position is 0 plus my x velocity, which is 80 meters per second times t. Solving for t, I get t is going to be 880 meters divided by 80 meters per second. Meters cancel out, and I get 11 seconds. 
So this is the time it takes the projectile to reach the castle wall. Now I want to figure out how high the projectile is when it's there. So I'll use my y equation second. And I can say y is equal to my initial y position is zero. Plus my initial y velocity is 60 meters per second times 11 seconds plus one half times negative 10 meters per second squared times 11 seconds squared. Do all the algebra and you get that the y position is going to be 55 meters. Now my last step is just to check and see if this is above the wall or not. So I know the wall is 45 meters high. 55 meters is greater than 45 meters. So it clears the wall.